What's up guys, I'm Glitch Gear, and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. So, in this episode, we're going to be focusing on, again, upgrading the hub as usual. I have my little tractor parked over here, as you guys saw in the last episode. And basically, let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to get on Tier 3. So, Coal Power. I think this might be a better um, alternative to, uh, you know, the biomass burner, which hopefully it is, because I'm really hoping something like that will happen. So let's go ahead and select this milestone and see what we need. So 150 reinforced plates? That's a lot. All right. Let's go ahead and see if there's some in our factory over here. Alrighty, guys, and there is quite a bit of uh, reinforced plates <laughs> over here. So, uh, holy crap. It's just gonna keep coming. Is there a way we can just drag it? Let's just drag all of these into here. There we go, and let's just collect all these on the outside. Alrighty guys, so we also need a bunch of cable, so I'm gonna go ahead and start crafting some cable, and then we'll go ahead and see- Oh, we also need rotor as well, so we already have a bunch of rotor back there, so it's also pretty good. Alrighty guys, so I finally got all the materials we need to finally build, uh, sorry, not build, but you know, complete the requirements basically for the, uh, next upgrade to the hub for the coal power. So, let's go ahead and set that launch pad on. And yeah, it actually took me a lot longer than I thought. Is it takes quite a while to get rotor, like we learned before. So that thing's launching off, and I'm assuming it'll be in here, right? Power, maybe? Yes, coal power, coal generator. Burns coal to boil water. So let's see, what do we need to build this? Missing, we need 10 rotor, how, oh, geez, this is ridiculous, how much rotor we need. Alrighty guys, so I finally got the materials to build this thing, and let's see, I'm wondering where we should put this. Let's see flip it this way first of all I just want to kind of see what it does so I say let's just put it right here for now and we'll see just exactly you know the uses of it and how good it'll be all right so let's go ahead and put some biofuel into it oh we need a power connection do we need an oil connection I'm assuming right I think we need oil I'm assuming let's see logistics pipeline support can be used as a connection for pipelines the height of the support is this what it needs to be connected to? Yes, this is the pipeline support, I think, right? This is interesting. So I wonder how this works. Does this, I'm assuming this brings fuel to a bunch of things, right? Alrighty guys, so I just got some copper sheet. Let's go ahead and try to apply some pipeline. I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna connect, but I guess, okay, that thing just like completely ejected. Um, Let's see, pipeline support. Like how does this connect to anything though? Where would this go? Like, how does this produce power? Exactly. I'm just confused, like, what this is supposed to attach to. It said that both coal can be... Oh, I... I okay, this just produces coal. So, in comes the, uh, water, I think. Is that what it said? I can't really... I'm confused. Burns coal to boil water. So I'm assuming coal goes in here, but then why would we need water to come out of here? Like, I'm a bit confused on what this is, should be used for. Because as far as I'm aware, I don't think this could be used for, uh, hmm. All right, let's just try this out. Let's just try to put some, uh, yeah, let's just try to put some coal in here. What does it mean it needs a connection? Maybe biomass burner? So does it need, okay, this, if it needs connection to a biomass burner, then that's kind of dumb, if you get what I'm saying. Because, like, biomass burners are already, yeah, it does need connection to a biomass burner. But then, so this isn't a power generator. How does this help anything? I guess technically you could have one biomass burner right next to it, but that still does not make sense. Like, on this, unless this works better than a biomass burner, then it's just useless. Because why would you use a biomass burner to create power when you could just use a biomass burner in itself to create power? Like, it's just a bit confusing. Alrighty, guys, so I'm attaching this to a biomass burner, and let's see just exactly what's going to happen. So, can we put in this? It needs fuel. It needs coal, doesn't it? Yeah, let's see that. Hopefully, this does not spark the fuse in this thing oh it needs power but this needs power too all right let's put in that and let's see hmm let's take this yeah no it definitely needs coal so i'm gonna go or wait what no water are we supposed to put in water or are we supposed to put in coal i am so confused all right guys there's a slight problem i'm not seeing water or coal anywhere in here so how are we exactly supposed to do anything like, is there something in here that we can use? No. 
yeah, I just don't, I just don't understand how coal power is supposed to work. Unless there's like supposed to be another, maybe there was another uh, step before. I yeah, know coal power was the first step. Scanner update coal allows you to scan for coal with the resource scan. Ah, all right, so we gotta go scan it with the resource scanner apparently, and object scanner. I'm assuming, right? I think this is it. Alrighty, guys, and I can finally build the object scanner. So let's go ahead and make this. And then I'm assuming, hopefully, this is uh, object scanner. Does this go in our hands? I guess it does. Alrighty. How do we scan for coal exactly? Let's see. Resource scanner, coal power. It says allows. Is this the resource scanner? Or is this. Like, what is this? Alrighty, guys, I'm not seeing anything. There's not even an option to freaking hmm I am so confused where we're supposed to get coal or water even for that matter I think it I think we put coal in because it has a conveyor belt so the coal comes in through the conveyor belt and then the water comes out through the pipeline I would assume that's how it works but I don't even know how to freaking get coal and it says we should be able to get coal with the resource scanner now this is technically uh, the like analysis scanner or something like that it's not technically called the resource scanner, so I'm wondering if we have the wrong thing. Yeah, you see, the only thing that they have, the MAM is a molecular analysis machine, and that just scans, it just scans exotic materials, but you, and so you have to collect the material first and then bring it over to the MAM, I'm pretty sure. So, I'll look more into this, but for right now, to end off this episode, I think I want to go ahead and make the, uh, awesome shop, <laughs> because that seems pretty fun. And, uh, you know, just there's no better way to end off a episode than that. So let's go ahead and make that. Alrighty, guys, so I finally have the materials to build the awesome shop. So let's go ahead and build it right here, maybe? I'm really interested to say it. it like, this is the description right here. Redeem your Fix-It coupons here. Fix-It is the name of the company, apparently. So, like, I, it's just such a weird thing. I, I'm confused. So, attachment foundations. Is this? So you need to get coupons. How do you get coupons? This is so weird. Where do you get the coupons from, man? You get vehicles? You get a factory cart. Ooh, I want that. Factory cart. How do you get a factory cart? You need 10 coupons, but how do you get coupons? So, your cart is empty. <laughs> this is such a weird thing to add into the game. So, how do you get uh, fix-it coupons? Let's see. Uh, it's probably not in our workshop, but let's just go ahead and see if it is. Alrighty guys, I think this may just purely be a cosmetic thing. If not, I'll let you guys know in the next episode, but I think this is just meant to be like kind of, you know, a joke. I'm not seeing anything for fix-it coupons, so I feel like that. <laughs> I really feel like it was just made for a joke, but yeah. Anyways guys, that's going to be for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this point. If you have sure to hit that like button, and um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao.